Hello YouTube family, hello everybody, um, I welcome everyone to this video. In this video I'll be talking about how you can buy and sell online. So uh, if you're a beginner and you really need to know how best you can buy things online, then this is a light video for you. Alright, so to begin with, you need to understand that there are so many different online platforms that offer their marketing uh, places or their marketing opportunities to different customers and to different sellers as well. Okay, so um, you need to know all these online platforms and I'll talk about them. So uh, we have uh, a good number of them. I'll talk about a few. We have uh, Amazon, we have Alibaba, we also have eBay. All these online platforms, they offer a chances and opportunities for people to do business online without themselves being part or without themselves being present there but wherever you are it, they are actually able to actually sustain the business without a person actually having made making all those movements and all that you just sit in the sitting room you sit in your bedroom and you receive your parcel that you ordered for all right so um I'll be talking about eBay so much because uh, I've really had my experience with eBay. I've dealt with eBay for quite a good number of years. Okay, so I've bought so many items and I've had a very large experience with uh, eBay. Alright, so with eBay, it's actually easy. Everything is easy. How you can start and how you can uh, actually be able to be buying things online, to trade online uh, using eBay as um, your platform. Alright, so uh, to start with, um, eBay is a, an online transaction or is an online transacting marketing place, okay? So uh, there on eBay, you have to buy so many different gadgets, okay? So many different things that you want, okay? So eBay is not actually specific to uh, particular items, but it does different kinds of items there all right so there you can buy uh, phones you can buy um, you can buy laptops you can buy iPads you can buy vehicles you can buy anything that you can ever think about accessories for the phones and so many things batteries all, all those things you can still buy them from there okay so eBay has things in categories okay so eBay has got used items it has got damaged items it also has uh, new items that it actually sells to the people right so now what do you need to have for you to actually um, be able to access eBay or be able to buy from eBay or to be able to do a transaction with eBay all right so what you need number one is eBay account okay so eBay account how do you acquire how do you get to have eBay account okay so eBay account you can actually have it when you log in on their website m.ebay.com or you actually download the application from Play Store okay so when you go on Play Store you type eBay and then uh, the application is going to come you download it you install it then you open it okay so once you open the app then it's going to give you two options either to sign in or to register okay so since you are new you are starting you need to register All right so you just press on register then on register it will give you uh, questions that you answer for example it will ask you your names it will ask you your email it will ask you your password once you fill it with uh, the information it needs then it's going to give you or it's going to open an account for you or the account to be opened for you or you open your own account okay so um having had having this account then you need to proceed when you open your account you'll be given your username so to log in you can log in using your username or you can log in using your uh, email address that you use during the time that you are opening this account all right so once you have an account then you log in to the eBay app or you log in using their website okay so um, that's number one that you need to have it's eBay account okay so now this eBay account needs to be linked to two other different accounts also okay which is a bank account or and sorry and um, which is a bank account 
and also a shipping address account or the shipping address whatsoever all right so um you need to have your bank account before you can trade on ebay all right so if you are a seller you need to have a bank account where the money can be transferred to if you're a buyer you need to have a bank account that you can use to do a transaction right so this bank account uh there are two ways that you can use this bank account you can use the card that has been provided to you by your card insurer which is the bank okay so on your card for example a visa card it has numbers there it has uh figures there on the card from the back and at the front also so when buying um an item that you like you can use that number or you can use that code there to actually perform a transaction if you do not want to use a card if perhaps the transaction you are doing is saying it does not receive cash using the the card then you'll have to use paypal all right so uh using paypal account i'll make a video talking about that so using paypal account you need to open an account with paypal all right so paypal as an account okay paypal as their website where you need to go and create your account so once you go on paypal just go on ebay type paypal then uh, when you type paypal p a y p a l so you you type paypal then it will take you to their address when it takes you to their address then create an account there on the account that you create it will ask you to link the card to the same account so once you link it then you can use your paypal details to actually perform a transaction because your card has already been linked to your paypal account All right so that's the other way that you can use okay so if you do not want to use this other type a card or you don't want to use paypal you can choose to use either of the two all right so now think about it you are for example you are buying something from china and you are in usa how is that thing going to reach you in the usa okay remember ebay is just an, a market where you just go you, you go and buy okay so once you buy something it is needed to be transported okay by a particular transporter from the region where you have bought it from to the region where you are without you being involved or without you going and following it to where it is okay so now this takes us to um what we call shipping address okay so you need if uh, you are in the usa or wherever you are you need um, an account or you need a shipping address where that particular item is going to be taken to All right so now um around the world there are so many shipping uh companies so these are companies that just gives up themselves to say okay we'll be transporting um items for customers from where they buy from then we take to where the customers are All right so um we have different types of or different kind companies that do that same job All right so um i'm going to recommend one which i've used for a number of years okay so you have an iShop uh, transporting company okay so iShop is actually found worldwide okay you can transport anywhere Africa Asia America Europe anywhere where you want you can actually transport okay so what do you need to do to have this uh, shipping address go on Google type iShop when you type iShop just I S H O P when you type iShop on Google then I'll go on their website on their website you create an account with them once you create an account with them they are going to send you an email which contains the shipping address where they are as iShop for example think about it you're in Africa and um, this uh, you've bought something from the USA so iShop needs to be in the USA to correct your item and be able to send it to Africa right so um they'll give you an address where they are found in the usa in china in europe or wherever so once you are given that address then you are going to attach it to your ebay account 
So your eBay account will be attached with two accounts. The first one I said, the bank account, means of payment, okay? Then from there, you have um, um, the shipping address. So this shipping address, for example, you found a laptop, you want to buy it, you go and buy it now, it will just ask you automatically to say, put in your shipping address. So you don't need to put your shipping address there. You don't need to put where you are. For example, if you're in Zambia, you don't need to put Zambia there, no. You need to put an address that iShop sent to you during the time that you were actually, um, uh, the time that you were opening an account with them. All right, so uh, you need to uh, put that during the time you want to uh, buy something. So once you put that, then you buy. When you buy, they are going to deduct the money from the account that you attached. And after it's been deducted, then they are going to send the item that you've ordered to that very email or to that very address that you provided, which iShop gave you. Okay, so iShop will be able to tell you to say, we've received an item for you. So after they receive an item, they'll be updating you through emails. Okay, item now has left a warehouse, is going to whatever destiny country. All right, so you'll be updated. So the moment that the item will arrive, for example, if you bought from a USA, you're in Zambia, then uh, when the item arrives, they are going to call you to say, okay, we've received an item for you. Okay, so uh, how are they going to call you? Remember, you created the shipping address. This shipping address, you included all your details. So when this uh, company gets the item, then it's going to transport it to where you are, and then it's going to be collected by their offices. Then using the computer number that you'll be given, they'll put it on the computer, they'll check where you are and check your details, then be able to contact you to go and collect your item. Right. So uh, guys, this is how you go about it. In case you have any question, feel free to comment, feel free to follow me, and uh, feel free to interact with me. I'll be able to help you. So until next time, now it's bye-bye.